The coronavirus milestone, Michigan marking six months since we saw our first positive case of COVID-19. Thank you for joining us this noon. This morning at a news conference, Governor Whitmer outlined a plan that would help people who have really helped all of us through these last six months. It's called Future for Frontliners, and it gives free college tuition to hundreds of thousands of essential workers. Rod Maloney joins us now. I know you listened in on that news conference. Talk to us about who's eligible. This is pretty exciting. Well, let's go right to the graphics then, Rhonda, and let's uh, get to it. This is the Futures for Frontliners, and here are some of the numbers. They're using $24 million of federal dollars that are part of now the, the state's education emergency fund. And 625,000 people qualify for tuition-free college. Uh, clearly, they can't afford for everybody to get that, but that's what they're saying right now. Frontline workers who work even part-time between April 1st and June 30th of 2020 are eligible, and you have to complete the application by year's end. We'll make sure that we have uh, that information for you on clickondetroit.com, and you can get a closer look if you're in fact interested. But let's hear from the governor about what she's thinking about this. She says it's modeled after the GI Bill. We've got to work around the clock to ensure that long after this crisis is over that our frontline workers have the support they need to get ahead in our country. Support whether it is dealing with PTSD from especially those who've been on the front lines caring for people who've bat been battling COVID-19, with people that have been showing up and putting their own health on the line to make sure the rest of us can stay safe. And so uh, that's what we have on that right now. The governor had a lot more to say. Dr. Janae Caldoun had a lot to say as well. For instance, she suggested not having play dates that moms, dads who uh, have children who want to get together with other children, she suggests not doing that. The governor also talked a little bit about her executive order put out last night that requires athletes who play soccer, who play football, volleyball, have to wear masks while they play. We'll have more on that coming up on Local 4 News at 5. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney, Local 4.